Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine, and I have another tutorial to the, for you. This is a live streaming tutorial, and this is how to use the iOS app for Facebook Live in many different ways. Now, uh, first of all, you can find me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. Jeffrey Powers right there. Um, and of course, you can go over to Geekazine. Feel free to leave me a tip if you like these videos, because I got a lot of great videos on using Wirecast, on using YouTube and, and stuff like that. Today, we're going to talk about the general landscape of live streaming, because you have this great feature which allows you to go into Facebook and do that. But it's, it's a little bit tougher on your iPhone because here, let me show you here. Let me just, uh, let me do that and that. Let's bring this in here, bring that up. There we go. So you have your iPhone here um, and to, to get live, you hit that live button and poof, it, it's gonna, it's gonna show you live. And there I am, I can put it all in, but Sometimes you don't want this very generic version of it. You want to be able to do something a little bit more. You want to be able to put in lower thirds. You want to be able to put in uh, put in graphics. So kind of like what I'm doing right now. When I live stream from the desktop, I use a program called Wirecast. There's many different programs you can use. And uh, you can do little, little overlays like this. Little leave me a tip right here. So doing it on the iPhone, not as easy. Um, there's a little bit of work involved. If you want to just go through that live button, you can do it that way. But there's other ways to do it. And I'm going to show you those other ways. First of all, um, we've got to talk really quick about the actual use. I'm going to move things over because this uh, iPhone screen gets uh, overlays. So so basically, if you're on a page, it's, it's probably the easiest way to go live. <clears throat> Excuse me, from a desktop on the page. And you do that by going to your publishing tools. That's up on top here. You didn't see that. You go to your video library. You go to this live button right there. And that brings up this create live video, which gives you a server URL and a stream key. Now, I don't. this is like a password, but this is going to change once I close this out. So don't even try to use this because it's not going to work at all. So, um, so that's basically how you do it. But when you do it on your regular profile... It doesn't work as easy. There's there's no there's no live button anywhere. So and I've been trying to figure out how to do this. And the best way to do this is simply by going and getting the button. Now there is this uh, this company iagm.me, which I found that they've uh, created a nice little button that you can uh, that you can use. And basically it's right here. It just says broadcast on Facebook Live. When you go to press it, it gives you a pop up. And in this pop up, I can choose to. Uh, this post to create on my timeline on a group and a friend's timeline. So I can actually share it in a group, which is really nice, but we're going to share it on my own timeline. So we're going to do that and I'm going to hit next. And then of course, if you've got your pop-up blocks you blocked, you have to uh, accept the pop-up or turn off your pop-up blocker. But basically that then brings up this little window right here. This is that same window. This is what you need because this is what you need. The RMTP and the stream key, because what we're gonna do is we're going to use one of two programs. The first one we're gonna use is called Wirecast Go. Uh, and of course, I'm a big fan of Wirecast, and uh, Wirecast Go is, is a great program to use as well. So we'll come back here, there we go, and we'll minimize these for now. So we come back here, you're, you're seeing me, and with Wirecast Go, I can create these layers, uh, like, for instance, I've got, there's a picture of my drum set, uh, which you can see. And then, of course, my re regular layer, I should be doing it like this. There we go. Uh, so you can see me, because this is the best way to record is via the uh, the landscape mode. So with this, I can, uh, I can change out my, through pictures, I can change out through video. I can, I can do a lot of different things with this. But let's go back here here oops there we go <laughs> and we'll go back here so basically what i need to do is when i hit when i go to record uh i'm gonna have to create an rmtp file so basically you hit start new broadcast and oops no this is the uh this is the youtube stuff i'm sorry uh, add a new server. That's where we need to go. And you got this RMTP server. It's completely blank. As you can see, 
Uh, there's nothing here that you that you can add. We have to add in the RMTP information. So, nope, that's not what I wanted. So I'll go to edit and I'll come back here. Once again, this password is dead, so you don't even need to worry about that. The URL is the important part right here. rmtp-api.facebook.com 80 rmtp. And they should put a trailing slash in there. Um, I tried it with the secure socket later, the SSL. Uh, that also does, does 443, but I wasn't having a, I wasn't having luck getting connected using that. So I st stuck with the 80. So now what that means is when you come back here, and we'll get this out of the way. There we go. And when you come back here, this is the information you need to copy paste and then bring over to your iPhone. So this also means that you you got to have a computer nearby. There's there's just no way around it. I tried doing it on the iPhone, maybe be able to do it on a tablet, but you you have to tell the computer or the tablet that it's a desktop. So if you've got a Windows tablet, it works perfect. But if you've got a iOS if a uh, tablet or something like that, you might hit, run into some problems. Um if you run Facebook through your uh, through your browser rather than through the app, they might have a little bit more luck. But I I had absolutely no luck on doing that. So, uh, but so you have to have a computer nearby, especially because of this little button right here. This button says go live. So once you uh, once you do that, you get that stream key and you copy that. And then what I what I do is I, I'll and I'll do it really quick. Is I'll copy it and then I'll go into a text e editor. And I'll take that and then I'll put that in there and I'll save that. This one is saved to my Dropbox file, to my Dropbox server. So now I can go to Dropbox on my phone and then go to the file. And you're seeing it behind. I'm, I'm not showing this part because, it's, you know, okay, so here we go. So now I can actually, I can take the RMTP, that, that information is there. And this information is there as well. I can then select all and then be very particular on the copy and go, where'd it go? Oh, why did it just do that? I hate it when sometimes. <laughs> what the heck is it doing? Okay, let's do that again. All right, here we go. So I'll do that and I'll select all and then go down and I'll say copy. There we go. Now I'll come back to Wirecast Go and then I will... Uh, Update this. Whoops. There we go. I'll select all, and then I'll paste in the new one. I'll say update. So now, when I hit done, this should be good to go. So now, when I hit this button right here, it's going to find it and does, and it finds the stream. And we're going to move this out of the way. Now, this box will fetch the video stream. You'll hear a little bit of repeat here for a second. Yeah, I'll just pause that so you don't hear the double sound here. So now I've got my, uh, I've got, this is the phone going. And of course, this is ready to go. I can actually put in, I'll move this out of the way again. I can put in uh, information like what I'm, what I'm doing. And then I can add a title. I can add video tags. And then I hit this button, go live down here on the corner. And I can do that. Of course, I can change the public to private or, or whatever. So now... I have this program, which I can then sit here and I can stream and I can say, okay, here's my, uh, here's my drum set and, and here's, here, here's one with me with an overlay, a Geekazine overlay right here. So I can make lower thirds and put it here and go from there and, 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 and get it going. So that's one way to do it. Now we're going to stop this because we're not going to, we're not going to stream. And we are going to go to another program. This program is called Live Air Solo. This is by Teradek, and a different program, but it has the same uh, same options. I had some problems with it, as you can hear. Uh, I think yeah, the the audio is off again. So uh, I had some problems with it uh, with uh, doing this. Um, hopefully, it was just small problems. But anyway, so I'm gonna flip the camera here. There we are again. So with this one, a little bit different, you, you, you basically swipe left and you get your scenes. You swipe to the right and you can 
create lower thirds and you can gr create your graphics. So there's that. You swipe from the top. You can't see this, uh, but the, the actual screen itself. Uh, so you swipe from the top. And here, let me, let me flip this around. We'll do it this way. So you see that from the swipe from the top and you've got the, uh, you got the images right there. You swipe from the right and then you have some scene, the lower thirds that you can choose from. Swipe from the left and you can choose from your scenes. Uh, play with it to, to understand a little bit better, but that's the idea there. So let's go back into the, uh, the image here. So now I can do the same thing. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit the settings button. And this is going to freeze up. So I was hoping it would show you. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Broadcast Destinations, which is uh, there, Managing My Destinations, and I've created a custom RMT, RTMP. It's the same thing. You have your URL, which is pretty much the same. Everybody's going to have that exact same URL. I'll have that down in the show notes so you, you, you can grab that. The stream key will be the unique key, a key. And once again, it doesn't matter uh, if you if you pull from this key, it will basically not work because it's a one time key and it refreshes uh, when you're done with your video. So now I can hit done and I can hit done. And this might not work because I'm using the exact same key from the first one. I haven't stopped my live. So hopefully when I hit the go live, I'm going to hit the go live right now. You're going to see it here, and it's saying it's publishing, but it might not work because I connected via the Wirecast Go app. But the same, the same process goes here. So, oh no, it looks like it's hooked up, so eventually it's going to show up in the preview area here. Let's just uh, hold on a second. And of course, this is me right here, and, and of course, if I want to switch it around, here's my bonk. That was a, that's an app that uh, that just came out. So now I can I can do different things and I can have overlays. I can have lower thirds and everything like that. It's not showing up in the preview. I, I expected that to happen. But uh, once again, you put in the information, you hit the go live and go from there. And then you can have a more professional video. <clears throat> Excuse me. More professional video uh, as you go from there and you can live stream uh, it's very useful and a lot of fun. Um, so I'm just going to stop that. Yes. And, uh, and bring it there. So you can make it, a, if you don't have something, uh, installed on your computer or your computer is just not that as powerful as you want it to be, you can then turn around and you can use that, uh, that same option. I'm going to do that. Use that same option. So you can, uh, so you can create video a little bit more with overlays with uh, lower thirds and the sort and you don't need like i have uh, a higher end camera hooked up through a through a uh, uh, piece of hardware excuse me that then uh brings it into the computer i'm not using a i'm not using a webcam or anything like that so now i can actually do this streaming from my iphone so you could actually set up maybe a tri on a tripod or something like that, and then bring it in and then uh, record from there with your with lower thirds. You can also bring it in on the iPad. Teradek makes an iPad version of Solo. Um, whereas the Wirecast Go, I think is just iPhone, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, there might be a iPad version of Wirecast Go. Both of, the, uh, both of the programs are absolutely free. To be able to use the RTMP, you do have to pay for the Pro versions, which is only a few dollars. I'll have those links below to exactly where you need to go to get those apps to run. And of course you can go from there. But the other cool thing about both of these apps, you can also stream to YouTube. They've got easy stream to YouTube, stream to Twitch, stream to, uh, to live stream, stream to other services. And you can go through all the settings to uh, get that going. And then you're winning. Yeah, you're winning. That's, that's, how it's, that's how it works. So anyway, that's this tutorial. Hopefully you learned a little bit about it. How to use the iOS app, iOS apps for Facebook Live, not the actual Facebook page uh, that you can, you can do and make it a little bit more professional. Got any questions? Tweet me over at Geekazine. Of course, comment on this video and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out and take care.
Don't forget to subscribe.